y'all it's me back with another plant video i love saying that back with another plant video and today's me. pretty plant is the ponytail palm yay oh can you pass me my clapper oh hell. come on assistant can you pass me my clapper? Right there. <laughs> I'm giving my wife the clap. The clapper. <laughs> the ponytail palm. Yay! Okay, that's that is way too yeah, much. That's way too much. Isn't she beautiful? She is so cute. I just love her from this angle. Because I forgot to rotate her while she was outside. And she kind of only has hair on one side. Like this side, she's kind of bald. Because I wasn't really turning her around in the sun like I should have. Now, when I purchased uh, this ponytail palm, it didn't do well in the house. It just did not look happy in the house and it does say bright light and when it says bright light it means wait let me make sure it say bright light child yeah i love bright light it really means bright light i had it in a west facing window in the window, like in it, close to the window, like maybe a foot away from the window, and it still didn't do well. It really didn't. It just did not look happy. So I put it outside. And when I put it outside, it just, you know, it really flourished. Like, I really want this in the house because she's so cute. But I do have to, because see, you can see where it's so much shorter here. This is the part where she was kind of like facing the wall and she, I guess, really wasn't getting enough sun. But I have moved her to another area, excuse me, on my porch. So she should, um, and I've turned her around. So this side is going to uh, get more sun now. And I have had, she does have a couple of little scorch uh, areas because we did have a few days that were like, you know, close to 100. But that's really rare for the Bay Area, you know, for it to continuously stay that. Like, it may get that hot, but it won't stay that hot here. So, she stays outside. Uh, she did the entire winter um, last season outside, and she is going to do the entire winter this season outside also because i'm not gonna bring her you know she's she just don't want to be in the house so i'm not going to force her to be in the house now she is on the porch so she does get some shade in the morning but when the you know sun comes out she gets full sun Okay, and you know the temperatures here in California, it's not like we're going to get snow or whatever. So I don't really worry about um, the temperatures dropping on her. I didn't even have any problems when uh, the rainy season started because these plants do not like a lot of water. They store water in these uh, thick trunks they store water in here so they don't want a whole lot of water don't get them no water because you kill them okay so this is my girl i do want to get another one i really do because i want to put one on my patio also so when i'm like laying around in my um bedroom or in my bedroom i can look out on my patio and see one growing there also i do want that is my goal i think for my upcoming plant is to get more like little palm trees i saw another it's a african palm or something 
that I want to get to add to my collection. I do want more plants like this that have like the big trunks and don't have to be watered a lot and don't require a whole lot of care. Because she don't require no care. Don't give her no water. Leave her alone and give her some sun. That's basically all she wants. Beautiful plant. Um, let me see how much was she? Because the price tag. She was $10. And she from Guatemala. She was $10. So beautiful plant. Very easy. It says that, you know, it is a house plant, but it just didn't do well in the house for me. It really, thumbnail, it just didn't do well in the house for me, okay? Maybe it'll do well in your house, but it didn't do well in mine. So, okay, girl, you, you probably gonna have to go someplace else, sweetheart, because you taking up the whole frame. So, I wanted to show you guys... Sit right there. I want to show you guys my um aren't they beautiful? I mean when I look at them together, all I see is beauty. I couldn't believe it when my granddaughter sent me a picture of them. She was like, Granny, they have a pink and blue one. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, okay. Now, this is the story. My granddaughter purchased these for me, but I didn't trust her. So I went to the store and got them because I didn't really know if she was going to do it, you know, if I could really trust her like that because she only 10, but she really did. So now I have a whole nother set. I don't know. I may, you know, give them away. So I have them that, and I haven't named them yet. And then Rufus and Chaka Khan. I'm so happy. Like, seriously, because this has been, like, a crazy, you know, week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I had to have, like, a steroid injection. So, it's been kind of a bad week. But when I saw, oh, my God, when I laid eyes on them, I was like, there is a God. There truly is. There has to be because only God can make something that beautiful. Okay. Y'all sit down. Okay. Sit right there. Okay. So, that's my new sloth. Laura, what did I do with my crochet needle? Oh, here it is. So, I am uh, in the process of making, what, what y'all be calling this? A faux? No. A faux is a finished object. I don't know what it is when it's not finished yet. But I'm making a scarf. It's going to eventually be an infinity. Like this one. When I get finished with it, this will be this. An infinity scarf. I like the way this uh, yarn worked up. And this yarn is extremely soft. This is extremely soft too. I don't really like the way the color uh, striped up. It was one of those cakes. It just didn't stripe up enough. It didn't give off enough color. There is like, it's a darker orange, a lighter orange, and then this darker color. But it's, I, I don't know. I just don't really like it. I don't like the way it, um, I don't really like the way it worked up. I don't know. I may keep it. I may keep the scarf and I may not, but this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. It'll look like that. And it may be a little bit bigger. Who knows? This is some really thin. Uh, this yarn is a lot thinner than that. So, um, 
I'm pretty sure this one will be a little bit more um, bulky than this one. But this is cool for me because y'all know I be having these hot flashes. And I can't, uh, I don't like to be too, too warm. But sometimes I do like to uh, wear something around my neck if I'm out and it's cold or whatever. So, yeah, I made this one last year. And I think I have a headband to go with this. I'm not really sure. Sometimes if I make a scarf and it's enough left yarn left over i will um make like a little headband to to match it or something like i'm probably gonna make like a little headband to go with this because i might end up kind of like stopping now let me see how wide it is because it's probably wide enough let me see let's see well, no, I might make it a little bit wider. Not quite. I might make it a little bit wider. But I might stop just enough to, you know, make me... Because you don't need a whole lot of yarn to um, make a little headband to go with that. Or usually I make like those little jackets, like the little shrug, and make a little headband to go with it if I have enough yarn. But I only have one skein of that so that was just that's just enough for a nice um scarf so that's what i've been doing i have uh been relaxing icing my knee dealing with this prednisone which you know is from the devil himself um crocheting and Watching Breaking Bad. I'm so late to the party. But you know what? It is what it is. Y'all can talk about me if you want to. Yeah, I'm just now watching it. So, <laughs> finding stuff on Netflix to watch and um, just chilling. Gizmo's upstairs with his dad who is getting ready for work. And that's about it. So, y'all... Send me some little, um, you know, kind words about my cute little ponytail palm. Sorry we didn't have a really cute headband today. I didn't feel like going upstairs just to get a headband, just to come back downstairs to film a video. Maybe I'll, you know, film a little short headband video later because I know y'all love them headbands. <laughs> like y'all really care about them headbands. But yeah, this is my girl. She is so beautiful. So, she's going back outside. She's got her a new um, spot. I do check her every now and then for ants because I had like this little ant infestation in my um, begonia um, plant. But I'm pretty sure ants probably don't like her because they're not getting enough water. The ants probably got in that Rex begonia because I was watering Rex. But she's not getting no water on a regular basis. Like, I'm not going to water her anytime soon, probably. Because I watered her maybe... I watered her when we had those 100 degree temperatures. I did give her some water then. So, I won't be watering her anytime soon. So, the ants are probably like, oh, well, it's nothing in there for us to get. So, we're not going to go over there. You know, the ants and other critters, look they're looking for water. Especially when it's like super hot like it was during that period of time. So, they don't bother her. I haven't had any... Um, bugs the snails don't bother her nobody bothers her and she's such a pretty girl like god i wanted her to stay in the house but she's like no nah, i'm cool take me back outside so she lives outside i go out and talk to her and you know see her every day when we come in the house but she is the the ponytail palm is really one of my favorite plants one of my favorite outdoor plants that i really wish to come in the house because I think she's so cute. She's just a cutie pie. So I'm going to be getting some more um, palms. Hopefully this, maybe this weekend, if um, we find 
some more or, you know, go to some different Home Depots because the Home Depot that is close to us is horrendous. All the plants were dead. It was, it was like a slaughterhouse up in there, just dry, dead um, plants. It was ugly. Okay, I'm rambling. I will see you guys later. I love you so much. Thank you. Bye.